So today we're gonna be feeding some wild stingrays. This morning we left Gisborne super early and we went up north about 15 minutes away from the town to witness one of the most beautiful sunrise I've ever seen in my life. Gisborne is well known for its sunrise because it's actually the first city in the world to see the sunrise every single day. And Laura and I are popping out the bubbles and watching it happen right before our eyes. The gorgeous sunrise is not the only reason to wake up this early on a morning in Gisborne. We're here at 6.30 because this is the time of low tide and the best time to join Dive Tatapuri on their reef ecology tour. As soon as we strap on some waders, Alex, our guide, is taking us out to sea. It's kind of a really weird feeling to be walking out to sea. I mean, for these kind of things, you guys see us doing it all the time. We usually take a boat. Walking toward the sea is actually quite treacherous. The waterbed is actually really slippery because there is a lot of rock. It's not just a sandy walkway. So it takes a lot out of us not to be sleeping and falling into the water. And according to Alex, it does happen regularly. As soon as we make it about 50 to 100 meters offshore, we start being surrounded by water life. It's absolutely incredible the amount of species which are swimming around us as soon as we actually stop walking. It's actually hard to focus on one thing rather than another for a little bit. We have two types of stingray which are swimming around us which Alex tells us about. We have the short-tailed stingray and the eagle ray. First, the short-tailed stingray is the largest type of stingray in the world. And one of these big guys right here weighs up to 120 kgs. In fact, they've been known to weigh up to 350 kgs, which is absolutely massive. And when those guys are pushing up against you, you can really feel it. And that's why we've been each equipped with a pole so that we feel more stable in the water while the stingray is swimming up against us and we are creating a human wall so that the rays can't swim in between us either and that way we can watch the stingray behaving in the natural environment without having to fall over. Watching those stingray launch themselves onto Alex is quite amazing. They have a massive strength and Honestly, if we didn't have those balls, they would definitely knock someone out, even someone as tall and big as I am. But what's really fascinating is to hear Alex give us a bit of personality about each of the stingray that we are encountering. Because he comes here every morning, he gave them each nicknames and he knows them very well. He's able to tell us, be careful, this one's gonna start charging you, or be careful, this one's gonna start swimming in circles around you. It's quite amazing to see personality amongst something that I consider just a fish. In fact, Alex treats them a little bit like pet. He tells us where to scratch them on the back of the head, or on the back of the tail, and it's really fun to see that happening right before our eyes. But we have to be careful. We can't leave our hand in the water for a little bit too long because those kingfish have very sharp teeth and very quick reflexes. And if we leave our hand in the water a little too long, we may be off a finger or two. When we're not trying to avoid the kingfish, Alex is showing us how to feed the stingray. We are each given a piece of barracuda to put underneath the bodies of the stingray because actually their mouths are underneath their bodies. And that way they can suck the piece of fish out of our fingers like a vacuum. It feels really, really weird. As the tour goes on, we realize that this is definitely one of the more unique wildlife activities that we've done in New Zealand so far. The stingray are super friendly and they're not as dangerous as some people might think. While we were on the beach before, Alex went through where it's safe to pet them and where we shouldn't touch because yes, stingray do have a long venomous sting which they only use if they feel threatened. And the stingray are not aggressive whatsoever and they allow us to feed them and just we really have an awesome time with them. One of the other types of stingray that you can see in the water with us is the eagle ray. And this is named because they majestically glide over the water in an effortless motion, much like an eagle would soaring through the sky. And they're really awesome to look at as well. They don't push up against us like the short-tailed ray does, but they just glide on by, taking a few food along the way. And they're really awesome to watch as well. 
It is possible to see other types of wildlife on these tours, which we don't see today, but on other tours you might be able to see trevally, kawaii, crayfish, octopus, and even eels in the water with you as well. Those stingrays are absolutely fascinating and Alex is telling us heaps of facts about them. And one of the most fascinating facts about stingray is the fact that they have electromagnetic sensors all around their bodies that helps them locate prey around the sea, especially under the sand, so they can suck them out and eat them with a big smiley mouth of theirs. And that also help them sense of heartbeat. And when we are feeling calmer, more stingrays are coming around us because if our heartbeat is going really fast and we are really stressed and excited, this may present a threat to them. One other really fascinating fact about Stingray that Alex tells us is about their nose. Did you know that Stingray had noses? It's actually called the rostrum and that helps them sense food all around the surroundings. So this is one of the reasons why they're here, because we keep on dumping food right in front of them to feed them. And so as soon as one of them smells food, the other one smells food, then it's a little bit like a gathering. It's a bit like a frenzy feeding of shark around a dead seal. And in fact, the stingrays are actually on the same broad species than shark. That's another fact that we learned from Alex. It's rather incredible how friendly and pet-like those creatures are. As soon as Alex starts telling us that we need to leave, they start gathering around us and being begging for more petting and just pushing themselves onto our legs. It's incredible how they sense that and also how funny it is. I did not know that actually meeting Stingray could be that much fun. It feels like just meeting a new puppy at your friend's place. As we start making our way back to shore, the tide is getting higher and higher. It's getting almost above our waist, making it a bit harder to walk. And we can definitely see why this tour is best done at low tide. Also, those kingfish and the stingray are following us back all the way to shore. And like Robin said, it is like when you go around to your friend's house and there's dogs being really affectionate and following you around. Uh, that's because we don't have any dogs and we go around to our friend's house for such things. But it does make marine wildlife something that we can relate more to and we definitely have a greater appreciation for stingray and marine wildlife in general after this tour. We are now heading off to the rest of our adventure on the escape of the Northern End and we have heaps to visit. There is also some eagle rays which are much smaller, much thinner. No, the eagle ray is the big one. No. Nope. We swim with stingray in, uh, in Loch Mara and there was the wrong one. Yeah, that was the eagle ray. No, that was a stingray. Well, I'm gonna double check, I don't think. I can't double check. I, I don't think that's right. Please go check. You're right. <laughs> so, can you come here and say that to everybody? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so annoying.